We're in Dallas, Texas, the fourth most populated metropolitan area of the U.S. and home of the cup-winning stars. Hi, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and we have a situation here where a series might end tonight. Put yourself in the position of the team facing elimination. They're away from their home fans. Can't be easy. It is not, Doc, and, and I think talking to the team and the coaching staff is that I think that they're in a pretty good place. They realize that there is no tomorrow, and sometimes players and coaches react a little bit differently when their backs are against the wall. And certainly for this team, they are up against it. The Avs got to lay it all on the line in this elimination game. They have to play on their toes. They need to dictate the terms. They cannot be on their heels or their season will be over. Let's look at the starting netminders. His team has seen success, could close this out tonight, but they can't take the pedal off the metal. They'll need to play just as hard if they want to take this one out. He comes into this one with a chance to finish the series. Let's see what he can do. Face-off number one gets us underway. Sagan's the starting center for Dallas. McKinnon's opposite him for the Avalanche. On to Sakara. Slid to Jamie Benn. Oh, that was close. in the corner by Sagan. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. Pitching it to Landeskog. Fires. Great save. Nicely received at the point. Heaves one. Oh, what a block. That was a great play and goal. Great opportunity. Better stop. Rockets one. Took care of that one. Block stop. So Ray can start. This is a sea of home team sweaters in the crowd. Everywhere you look, someone has some version of their home team's jersey on. Thanks very much, Ray. That's a solid face-off win. Big drive! He scores! First goal to the visitors. Great start for them. been opened up. We'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back at your heels too long. The Avs have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. A little under four minutes have been skated so far. Colorado's ahead, 1-0. Laid on to Janmark. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Wonderful play by the defense. Shot on goal. Got his glove on that one. Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. Throws it to Perry. Can he clear? Directing that one to Nemesnikov. Shoots one. Hits the post and out. The real chore is not to be frustrated, even though they're up here. They could have spread this lead out and maybe coasted home. Colorado's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. Good face-off win. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Scorches one. Save there. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Clean win on the draw. Looking to Barbaria. Wonderful work done near the blue line. Colorado's marching on halfway up the ring. Reads the play and keeps it. Has 
it back deep. Pass attempt to Burakovsky. He gains the zone. Shoots it on. Save. Holds on and gets that whistle. Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Smart recovery by Wilson. There's a hooking call on this play, but he keeps going. Whistle is blown, penalty call, guilty party departs. The Stars are given a hooking minor. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. The Avs will get their first power play crack of the game. Let's see how they do. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Yeah, get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebound. It's dunked in. Skilled play by Johnson. Puck is thrown to Landeskog. From the outside, at least he protected his goaltender. Cleared back out again, and so the power play unit has to drop back. And now it's directed to McKinnon. Gains the zone. Great defensive poke. Blue line control. Attack zone possession here. Blocked away. Cleared it back out of there. The Avs go back to pick it up. Time is dwindling on this power play. Flings it. Blockered away. The Avs needed something from the Score! He got the post with that one. Quick flick of the wrist, put this puck in from the high slot. Hudobin's not going to be happy with this. He doesn't even move on this shot because he thinks he's in good position, but it hits the inside of the post and goes in. Colorado's got it off the draw at center. Number six, Eric Johnson, assisted by number 96. Got it at the point. He turned it. Stick save on the changing shot. Just walking the tightrope. Chips it back. Presses that attack. Out to the point with it now. They're getting all organized now. Save with the pad. Dallas charges up the wing. A shot. Routine save. Pitching this one to Nemesnikov. Three puck now. Pressing on with it up the wing. And he dumps it in. This one being contested on the boards. Colorado's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Carries it on in from center. Good place to shoot from. Got a piece of that one. Round it again. Still held in. Takes a shot. That went off the pad. Passing one off now to Ben. And he steps across the line. In that defensive zone, an important play. Twenty minutes are in the books. And so the coaches will have their say. The players will rest and listen. The Avs have a 2-0 advantage. Take a look at the shots on goal. A lopsided total. 13 for the Avalanche and 3 for the Stars. Hey fans, be sure to get your season tickets now. At the Avs end the period with a 2-goal advantage. We focus on this one. The one that made it 2 goals. And we'll have more in just a moment. your opportunity to become the best locations for next season. Stop by section 144 on the top.
Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? Dallas has been defending more than attacking so far in this game, but they've got two periods to turn it around. They'll need to get some possession and convert on their scoring chances if they want to get back in it. Chip to Radulov. Through the corner. Shot! Got that! Tremendous scoring chance. Colorado's built a lead on the fact that they've dominated puck possession. Their goaltender has had a very easy night in there. Hasn't had a lot of shots, but he stopped what he's had to. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. Dallas has charges up from the wing. Feeds the point. Fires! That's a marvelous save. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. Colorado's controlling play now in the defensive zone. It's an onside play. Terrific fake out. Snaps a wrist shot. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Good, solid defense there. A shot and a save. Back to the blue line. Sends it across the blue line. Oh, my, what a hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. The Stars guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade and just a hook. Well, what he was trying to do is try to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. Colorado's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets. And it's to simplify things. Get it to the point, shoot it, get traffic, retrieve it, shoot it again. Burakovsky's cutting through the neutral zone. Let's it go. Blocked. With a wrister. And yet another save. How does he do that? He was in control on both of those saves. A little under seven minutes gone in this period. Colorado's got the lead in this game, two to nothing. Solid face-off win. He throws it there. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. Cuts that pass off. That shot came from just six inches. Rides the line. deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're gonna see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. Colorado's just continuing to hammer away on the shot board enormous, and the score is large. To Kadri. Kadri's been great creating chances for his teammates. He has two assists already. Goalie to the bench on the delayed call. Extra man is out. Propel to Nechuska. Fires a shot. Oh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Nice stick by the defense. That puck exits the zone, so play has to reset. Takes that pass and looks on. Shoots, score! And that's four straight goals. You give him the opportunity from this spot in the ice, that's the low slot area, he's gonna score. Goalies want to shut down the bottom of the net, dare you to beat them up top. He doesn't cover this one, and it gets them down low. The Avs have gotten another goal on a night of many goals. What a satisfying night for them, and their coach won't have much to say. He's in on an onside play. Fantastic poke check by Perry. Breakaway! Score! What a quick answer 
Center, that was. The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. He doesn't even move. Once he drops into the butterfly, you're certain he's got the net covered. He just doesn't. The Stars haven't struck for much, but they've struck now. And maybe they can build on that here in the second. Stars and the faceoff's won. By number 13, Trying to go to Belmont. Moving it to Yonmark. On to Perry. Points it. Went to the backhand. Save there. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Has that one measured in center. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Dogged determination there by Johnson. Fires. Bad save. Need to get rid of it. Colorado's along the wing at center ice. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Let's it go. Had it away with authority. Colorado's recoiling back in their own end. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. Shooting. That puck hit him on the way to the net. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. I love that hit. That's old time hockey. Moves to the corner. Slid to Cogliano. What a hit that was. Picked up by the defense. Centering pass. Pass to the blue line. Up the half wall. Dishes to the corner to Pavelski. Recollected. Barbario's trying to work his way to center ice. Crosses that line. He's got that point pass. In the second period. Laid on to Wilson. Let's it go. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Snapping a pass to Zadaroff. It's dumped in. Picks it up back there. Colorado's lineup is all the more dangerous because it has one of the top goal scorers in the league in the middle of it. You have to look out wherever he is on the ice. You have to check him closely. Yet somehow, playoffs or not, he finds a way to get a little room and he's at the top of the league in scoring. 40 minutes have been played in this contest, and everyone gets a break, but just for a moment, third period coming up. A look at the shots on goal through two. 21 for Colorado, and nine for the Stars. Dallas is down, but got a step closer with the scoring of this goal. Maybe there'll be more when the next period begins. We'll be right back. third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edza. The Avs start the third with a solid lead, but with the opposition running out of time, I'm expecting a late game push. Third period has started here. Let's see what kind of a rocky ride we get. Read that play in his own end. Chip to Jamie Benn. Slides it to the point. Many yards gained to Sakara. Say. Cole's tripped up. That should be a penalty. The Stars have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. So much of a power play is confidence. When you have a little success, you feel like you can do it again. That's what they should feel after they've already pocketed one power play goal. On the outside, a shot. 
Oh, he got that. Driving in from no man's land. Important interception there. Ah, they should have done better on that pass. Now everybody has to go back to center ice and get ready again. Pitching it to Kadri. He's got it, but has to get rid of it. A big collision there. Great play along the board. He tries to wear down his man by throwing the body. Stays along the boards. Propelled to Kadri. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Deflected off the blocker. Pressure now. All the pressure still on as they can't clear. Possession in the zone. Goes for it. Sends it. Gets a blocker on it. Passes it back to the point. Rockets one. Score! He's got his second of the game. vantage point up here. There was not a lot of room to be able to make that pass. I'm sure, Ray, you got a better vantage point down at ice level. Now, that's great teamwork. That puck has moved quickly and crisply. Opens up some time for him to settle it down and beat the goalie. Colorado's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Steps across that line. Assisted by number 49. Using the point. He's got it. By number 95. Shoots one. Waffle boarded. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. Under seven minutes have gone by in the third. With that goal, the lead becomes more impressive. It's up to four. Stood up there. Leads that charge into the zone. Flings it. Terrific work with the glove. Couldn't keep it, though. The Avs controlling play now in their own end. That pass along the boards. A great wrist shot. Wonderful stop. The pass fails, and the puck leaves the zone. And that one went offside. When a player delivers a hit like that, it can change the momentum, mainly because it changes the focus. Players on one team are excited, players on the other team are agitated. It can change the flow of the game. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Thrown right back to the opposite corner. Intercepts that pass on the attack. The Avs came into the game feeling pretty good about the way that they had been playing. However, they have absolutely dominated this game start to finish, and they're going to coast home for victory. Can start the attack going in the zone. Back on his stick. Great take, dangerous area. Taken over again. Steals it in the attacking zone. Brings a shot. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. The goalie makes himself look big. He covers and has defused the attack for now. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Just under seven minutes to be played in the third. The lead becomes bigger. It's now four goals. Directing that one to Nichushkin. Big time move. Looking to Johnson. Oh, and a missed pass, and the puck goes out. Terrific determination by Johnson. Pass attempt to Kadri. Gets in, looks over his options here. The big pillows came in handy. A whistle and a rest. Colorado's players are cutting a wide circle around him these days. They don't want to throw his routine off. It's amazing how superstitious players can get. And when you have one that's on such a significant point scoring streak, 
Nobody wants to upset the apple cart. Clips that wrist shot. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Shot on. Kicked away. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. Nice face-off work. Alexiak skating out of his own end. Dallas carrying it up the wing. Turned a shot on net. Great save. Skill play by Perry. Bodied off. Puck is thrown to Burakowski. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. At least he protected his goaltender. Gains that offensive line. Nearing the last minute of the third period. Nudged along by the skate. The Stars are driving it from the wing. Shoots one. Save! And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. Because the goaltender's in perfect position, that save is as easy as you can have. They took that draw and won it. And now it's directed to Hansel. Can make a play from the corner. Gloved! Wilson's got it in his own end, headed towards center. On to Landeskog. Shoots one. Blockered away. The Stars are skating it up at neutral ice. Good shooting place. Got a piece of that one. Slid to McKinnon. Let's it go. Save there. And freezes play for the whistle. You're not going to beat a goaltender of this caliber with that shot. That's a pretty easy blocker stop. From the faceoff, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. Scooped up. Muscled long to Lindell. The series is tied, and we will have a Game 7. They pushed a Game 7, Doc. Hockey fans everywhere will be waiting impatiently for that one. So as the tournament rolled on, energized play ended only by a final horn. Good night from all of us.